In this video, guys, we're gonna look at Trading Sardines by Linda Bradford Rashke. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me in this video. All right, so Trading Sardines, Lessons in the Markets from a Lifelong Trader by Linda Rashke is her latest book. I have just finished it. I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I found from the book. Now, I've made no secret that I think that Linda Rashke is one of the best, if not the best trader alive at the moment. And some of her work, well, almost all of her work, guys, is going to go down in history and will be studied by traders for years. You know, some of the stuff she's done uh, is so good and so comprehensive. You're not gonna agree with all of it and some of it is not relevant to many traders as well some of it you might look at it and go that's great some of it you look at it and go it's not for me that's how trading works hopefully the idea is that you look at some of the stuff she does and it plants a seed and then you go out and do your own research and your own work but i'll get to that in a moment so anyway this book um is been out for a while but it's her latest book um, it's not a setup book like the Street Smarts book. This is more of a story, but there's some setups and some strategies in there as well. Um, it's a really kind of interesting book, and I definitely urge you to get it. Now, the only downside is it's not available on Amazon. You have to order it directly from her website, so you have to pay shipping over to the UK or to Europe. So you end up paying, I think it was 40 bucks for the book, plus another 25 for shipping around that level. Well worth it, though. You know, Don't quibble about it. The, the amount of knowledge you'll get from it is you know 100x uh, from the value so don't hesitate to order it okay so some of the things that i've uh, learned and some of the things that are covered says what to expect when you get the book um the first thing is linda's trading program one of the sections talks about her trading program some of the setups she uses, some of the indicators she uses, what she looks for, how she splits up her trading programs, as she calls it, so that short-term stuff, longer-term stuff, etc. Won't spoil it, but there's a good section on that to give you some ideas and maybe some things and kernels of ideas for you to go and do your research on as well. Um, some of the thing that stood out for me, guys, is that, you know what, I knew that she was a great trader, but I don't think I was fully aware of how successful she has been. And really, she's almost got to a point, in my opinion, Linda's almost got to a point where she was running a successful hedge fund. And I think if she'd carried on that and wanted to do that, it could have been the best hedge fund or one of the best hedge funds uh, in the world. But for personal circumstances, and I can't speak for her, but reading between the lines, she just didn't want to run the business. She wasn't interested in the hedge fund side of it. She is a trader. She just loved to trade. So she went back to trading her own account and again, super successful with that. But it's, it's a kind of interesting uh, story. Again, she talks about that. So first seven figure day, that was the thing that stood out to me. She mentions it briefly. She's quite humble. Obviously, she doesn't brag about this thing, but um, she didn't deny that it was a really nice feeling. Uh, and I think seven figure day, that's a really decent day right that's a lot of money to make on the on a day i think it's on the on the s p's as well so um really the book as well is is to talking about everything that can go wrong will i mean linda was caught on the wrong side of so many moves um she talked about the swine flu thing she talked about um being caught out when fanny may and uh, freddie mac were bailed out uh, you know some of these stories are just huge numbers we're talking about here but the point is, is every single time she just focused, didn't go on tilt, didn't go crazy, just knuckled down, went back to her process and pushed and pushed and pushed and kept going, kept going, kept going. And there's some lines that I've highlighted in here, you know, for personal reading where, you know, some of the things that she says is just, hey, listen, you, you can't force things when you want to come back. You just got to keep the process, keep the process, keep the process. And it's so, so true. Uh, another thing was personal life does impact trading. She talks a little bit about some of the personal side of her life and how that have impacted her trading. Um, and it, it, just a reminder, guys, that we're not uh, we're not just solely sitting in front of the desk and we can shut off the outside world. Whatever's going on externally is going to have an impact and affect our trading positively or negatively. And the other thing is, do your own work. You know, Linda talks a lot. Of, Linda talks a lot about some of the strategies she's looking at, and a lot of them were, you know, ideas she's got from traders who've gone before, like Wyckoff, etc. And she's taken Tony Crable. She's taken the work and made it her own, and that's so so important because it gives you the confidence to execute the trade. If you take Linda's work or Wyckoff's work or Gann or whoever, and then you just, just, just execute it because those are the rules that are there, you never have the confidence to hold the trade, you never have the confidence to sit through drawdowns, you never have the confidence to find new things for the current conditions. The idea is, and how Linda approached things, the way that I, that I uh, perceived it, is 
She reads the work, she looks at the work, like Taylor, for example, Taylor Trading Technique, Wyckoff, all the names, and then she says, okay, that's a really good idea. How can I, how can I understand that? And how can I you know, model that? And how can I implement that into a trading strategy that suits me as a person and suits me and what I'm doing? And so something that we can take away from that, guys, is that you know, whenever you see any trading strategy, whenever you see any work, any kind of statistics, the whole point is you then have to go out and do that for yourself and look and see if that setup suits you yourself. You have to own it and claim it, otherwise it just won't work. Um, so that's a really interesting point. And the one is have a life outside of trading. Um, another perfect point that's very similar, obviously, to the personal life is that you know the balance in life. Linda openly says that she went flat out with trading. Uh, a few little consequences from that, um, but really the thing is about having the balance. I know it's an overused word, but you know having something outside of trading. And even people like Brett Steenbarger talk about this. You've got to have something outside of trading so that your life is not about your p l swings intraday. You've got something to enjoy. To uh, you know, just takes you out of the markets. And the final thing, guys, is uh, goals, focus, determination, and passion. You know, that's what has kept Linda in the game. She loves to trade, like many of us do. Like many of us have been in the game. I've been in the game 2001. I started, so I'm a mere junior compared uh, to Linda. And some of these people have been in, you know, all their lives. And it's a passion that keeps people in. So you've got to have a passion for it. The second thing is the goals. You've got to have some kind of goals that you want to achieve. Focus on one thing at a time. Focus on a specific market. Focus on a specific setup. Focus, laser focus, and determination to keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing. Despite heavy drawdowns, heavy setbacks, things that would set most people on the floor and leave them out for the count, they wouldn't be getting back up. You've got to get back up and you've got to claw yourself forward and keep moving on. It's a great book, guys. Um, another thing I've got to mention is she talked about her hedge fund days. She's running a very successful fund that was you know, ranked super highly, super successful, and then decided to kind of leave all that because there's a lot of business involved in hedge fund. Imagine the regulation is just ridiculous and decided to manage her own money. Um, so there's that story in there as well. And loads of other little nuggets of information, funny pieces, things that will make you laugh out loud, a useful information, just a good, good book to have. Highly recommend it. Go to her website and order it today. And let me know, guys, in the comment section below what you think once you've got it delivered and you've read it. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.